first question then from um, Jane. Jane's emailed in to say that obviously there was a, an awful lot of publicity around um, the Red Letter Day's demise or the crash of Red Letter Day's. Um, she's saying, kind of, what was the truth behind all the the media hype? Oh gosh, well it's a very long story, and I've written about it quite extensively in my book. Actually, for the first time after sort of two and a half years, I've actually told my side of the story, and I think that's the thing with dealing with the media. I, there's very few articles I've ever read about myself which are true, and mm-hmm. they always they always twist things to their own agenda and very quickly sort of painted me as this failed con woman type, you know, sort of failed entrepreneur. And I think once you get a label with the media, it's very difficult to shake it off. Um, Yeah, so it was quite tough. So obviously um, the the key then there is to obviously to get the book in order to find out all all the juicy bits about what actually really happened. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Yes, I mean, the thing is, I think the key thing is, if if you're in business and you've created a hole for whatever reason, it's very difficult to dig yourself out of it. And um, and I would say to people, you know, if, you're, if you need to refinance your business, you've absolutely got to do the refinancing when you're on a high and you're in ascendancy and making profits, because it's impossible... Well, not impossible, but very difficult to refinance a business that's trying to dig itself out of a cash flow hole. 